So I just read this article about how Monique gives her husband a pass to cheat. And I read the same thing about Toya Wright giving her husband, Men Fitz, a pass to cheat. While the situations are a little different, both of them are basically saying they want their men to have an honest way to step outside of the marriage under their supervision. As you can imagine, both Monique and Toya Wright are getting dragged in the comment sections, but I'm looking more so at the husbands. Don't get me wrong, I'm not stupid. I get the obvious benefit. You get to have your cake and eat it too, but like, no, bro, like, no. This is your best friend, your life partner, your wife, the mother of your kids. This ain't, this ain't one of your bitches. You don't do that with your wife. The whole point of y'all getting married was for you two to make each other stronger and better, but you've depleted her self-esteem so low, she don't even feel like she deserves all of you. What Monique says is there's something she can't give her husband so she can't be mad if he go gets it elsewhere. But yes, you can. As a woman, you are designed to be complete by yourself, not with the help of four or five women. That's why he chose the good with the bad. Your complete package, what it got and what it don't. But back to the husband in this situation. How are you teaching your daughter that for the man of her dreams, all she'll ever be is a fraction of what's good enough? How can you feel like you made a full physical and spiritual commitment to your wife while you're making physical and spiritual exchanges with other women? Polygamy isn't a new concept, but neither is slavery. I personally could do without both of those systems. So to each their own. I just can't see how a man looks his better half in the eye knowing that he's made her identify with so much less than that.